we know we definitely want to be along the lakeside. Are you ready for this, my love? being the first time setting all this stuff up, it's a big job. We're gonna make some little personal pizzas. Look at that, guys, wow. Could have melted the cheese a little bit better. Bottom's kind of brown there. It's like 50, 51 right now. It's gonna get pretty cold tonight. So it's getting pretty dark out here. The mosquitoes are coming out. We're gonna have to zip this place up. But I wanted to show you how it looks at night with all these candles and everything lit. Look at how packed this little Kia is. Usually we'd have the Hummer, but the transmission went out, so it's in the shop. I'm over at the scare house right now, packing up this little Kia with all our camping gear. And it is absolutely jam-packed. Marion's at home right now getting some things ready. I had to bring some things over here from Halloween and unpack the Kia before putting uh, camping stuff in. We got more over here. I've got more on the table over here that needs to go in. And there's the little lady. Are you ready to go camping? I am ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> <laughs> so here at the house, we got a lot of things going on, things in preparation for this trip, um, including all this stuff here. Marion has started to put together some food and things there. These little lanterns charging right now. I already charged the other two. We have four of them all together. We got the TV over here. We got this little rechargeable solar power bank, propane and butane, headlight flashlights. We got these little lanterns. I don't think those are gonna go with us, but we are gonna take these two Coleman lanterns. I really wish we had the Hummer right now. All right, we got everything packed up. You can't even see out the back window. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where we're staying for the next couple of nights. Clay's Park, Jellystone Park. It's just been kind of in a transition period turning into a Yogi Bear uh, Jellystone Park. You can see the Yogi Bear up there. He's huge. We came out here and drove around the other day um, just to kind of see what was available as far as tent camping. And we'll just take a quick drive over this way because there are actually designated areas like one of them is back up through there and there's just like a lot of areas you can choose that's all you do you pull in here and you go to one of the designated tent areas and you choose where you want to pitch your tent and the one that we're going to do is over here by the fishing lake so we're actually going to be camping right at the lakeside but look at all these colors out here these leaves all change, and this is actually the end of the season. They're only open for like another four days or something. So this is actually the swimming lake over here. They usually have like a bunch of inflatables and stuff out there, and uh, you can go out there on your boats or whatever. Um, but there's another lake up here around to the left where we're gonna go. This is another one of the camping areas over here, and it stretches all the way down here along this fence and where we're going is right over here alongside this lake are you ready for this my love I'm pretty sure i am all right yeah we came out here the other day and we kind of just scoped this out to find the best spot well i don't know see we looked all along this area here we know we definitely want to be along the uh the lakeside we want to be facing out this way though right over the thing okay all right so this is a good area here the other area we thought about was over there like under this shady tree yeah the issue is that it's on a slight slant and that's not really that big of a deal over here under this tree um is the other spot that we were really thinking of because we're, we're still in that part of the season where it gets hot during the day but then cold at night so we were thinking if it, we were like right here where we know there's going to be shade we'd be cool during the day Thank you. 
So we're a little close to the water here, a little closer than we thought we were gonna be, even though we kind of measured it out. <laughs> so what we are trying to decide right now is we have this little tent down here, which is like a five by five, and that's basically gonna be where our bathroom is. All right, it's coming along. We got the porta potty tent set up over here. We got the Cootie Koala 7. So this here is actually a shower slash bathroom changing room, whatever you want it to be. There's a hook up there where if you were gonna use it as a shower, you'd hang like your shower bag right up there and then just stand there and take your shower. On the bottom, there's mesh that goes all the way around to let the water come out. I can only imagine that would be a big mess getting created under there if you did that. But we've got this portable toilet from Ann Katie. Apparently this unfolds and holds, I don't know, 400 pounds of weight or something. At least, I hope. <laughs> and there's like bags and uh, some kind of absorbing gel or something that you use with those, I don't know. And as far as I understand, you use one bag per use, I guess you could say. Per go? Per go. <laughs> so anyways, there's that. And if that should happen to fail, then you can see where across the way there are actually porta potties over there. Yeah, here we go. Up to 440 pounds, that says. Give it a try. <laughs> How's it feel? It feels like it's not that comfortable, but you know. You gotta go, you gotta go. You gotta go. Well, if you push back a little bit, it's not too bad. Okay. So far, this is what we got going on. Got the tent right here looking right over the lake. That's pretty awesome. At night, this is gonna look really cool. Guys, this is so pathetic. <laughs> we are on our second trip back to the campsite. We came back because we had to get the rest of the stuff. And before, I was like, there's only a few more things we need. Look at this. The entire back, once again, is completely <laughs> stocked full of crap for camping. <laughs> for a three-day three camping trip that takes 20 minutes to get there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I went up to get um, firewood and left Marion here to do the bed. Look at that, she did such a good job all on her own. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the blankets are just to put on the chairs and you know, cover up the whole chair there. Yeah, that way we got something Halloween-y to sit on. I mean, of course you can cover up yourself with them if you want to, but I'm just saying. Look at this bedspread here. I got this from Amazon specifically for this camping trip. It's so Halloween-y. We got the black cat here. We got the pumpkins. And the, what is this? A graveyard on here and blackbirds and a bat and witch. <laughs> we got a big spider down here. Some ghosts and skeletons. All kinds of stuff on there. Okay, shams are going on. together this table to go between the chairs.
7.42. We're about beat. We've been at this all day long. This is our being the first time setting all this stuff up. It's a big job. Marion's over here all bundled up. Cause it, what, how cold is it right now? Um, I don't know, 51? It's like 50, 51 right now. It's going down to, what did I say? 40, 40 something. <coughs> Maybe 40 or 41. It's going to get pretty cold tonight. Um, so we got the bed over there. I think I showed you guys that. I just got done putting together the hot stove. So um, getting ready to spark that thing up. But man... Is it getting cold in here? This is the wood I got. All this wood right here, which is not very much, $39 for that. These are the smallest bundles I've ever seen in my life. So this is how that stove looks right there. It just goes right up through the roof. We got our chairs right across. So as soon as I get this thing sparked up, it ought to warm it up pretty good in here. It's starting to catch in there, not as quickly as I would like it to, but we have fire. Okay, day two, last night was super cold. Wow, look at all the leaves over here falling off this tree into the uh, lake here. That is pretty cool. But yeah, we were up this morning about six. We're getting the tent opened up again here now. It was freezing last night. It was 49 outside, which usually isn't like too bad. But I think being on this water here, and we're, we're just right outside the door. It was so, so cold. And we finally got that uh, stove set up. And it was a lifesaver because we got it up to what, like 70 degrees? You can see I have it taken down now because this morning it started raining about 6 a.m. But that literally lasted about five minutes, just long enough to get everything wet outside. So um, we ran home, grabbed a couple things that we needed. We are back here and right now we are straightening everything up and getting ready to have just a spooky Halloween evening here. We got some stuff to make some little uh, personal pizzas and we're gonna watch a spooky movie. Mary into the car while I was taking some pictures of the tent and everything set up. First of all though, look how awesome this looks. You see all these leaves in the water here? Like we'll look down this way and all these trees will be shedding leaves all at once. Anyway, as we come around the lake here, look at all these colors. This is an amazing view from the inside of the tent here. So let's go in here. I'll show you what we've set up. Marion got this welcome mat. I'm not sure where she got it, somewhere online. And set it right out here for us to wipe our feet on. And this is the inside of the tent right here. All decked out for a happy Halloween in here. We got our chairs over here with the black cats and pumpkins. Over on the other side, we got our TV going here. Right now we got the fireplace on there, but we pick up Netflix and everything on there. We can stream from our phone. We've got the stove over here. We had this thing blazing last night. I think I may have told you it was in the 40s outside. It was in the 70s in here. It was nice and toasty. Then over here, we have our king size bed. This is an inflatable bed. It is 24 inches tall and it is king size. I don't remember how wide it is, but it's a king size bed. We've got the awesome 
Halloween quilt on there. I picked that up off of Amazon for like 30 bucks. And then of course we've got a table on each side and we have candles going over there. They're not real candles, of course. They are from Amazon also and they're just battery operated. But that looks really awesome there. That's so cozy. Of course, we've got the carpets down here and over here in our sitting area, we have some more of these candles as well as our coffee cups here. So we can get a fire going in the stove this evening. If it gets cold, we can kick back and watch Hubie Halloween on Netflix. Or we can just sit back and watch the lake out that front window. We can also open these skylights up here and that lets in a lot more light during the day. We can lay here and watch the clouds go by or as soon as it gets dark, we can lay here and watch the stars. Look at this amazing view right here. In fact, look at this whole panoramic view here. How awesome is that? And then we got a lady coming in. Hello. Nice of you to join us. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> I was banned to the car. Well. Well, what? <laughs> so we'll get some more shots here in the dark. But for right now, we are hungry. So we're going to set up this one table that we have right here it's like a i don't even know what you call it it's like a kitchen and for our halloween snack dinner whatever we're gonna make some little personal pizzas we were actually gonna cook them on top of this stove at first but it's just not cold enough to light that up yet um we're gonna try this thing that marion found on where'd you get that amazon mm -hmm. so that hooks on there and then that's where you put the little propane bottle yep and it uh yeah, look at that, I did it. <laughs> a little propane bottle there, and it, you, it uh, works for both of them. Okay, so basically we're just taking one of these flatbreads here, stick it in the pan, a little bit of roused pizza sauce, smear it around on there, then we put a little bit of mozzarella cheese on there. Not too many, like maybe four. Four big pepperonis, all right. Pepperoni, 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 pepperoni. All right, a little bit more cheese on top. Cover the pepperonis good. Here we go, we got a little flame down there, and then that pizza can just warm up. Probably take about 10 minutes, maybe not quite that long. Okay, there's the finished product. Could have melted the cheese a little bit better. Bottom's kind of brown there. Maybe I should have had the flame down a little bit lower. Second plate, put it over here. Let it sit for about five minutes and the cheese will be melted. I'm going to make basically the same thing for myself. Yeah, there's mine with the tiny little pepperonis on there. I love those things. Look at that, guys. Wow. Yum. Mm. And I think it is going to be a little bit crispy, too. Look at the bottom there. But it will be delicious. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this delicious food prepared by me. <laughs> Let's sit there, Shaman. Good job, babe. Good job. So it's getting pretty dark out here. The mosquitoes are coming out. We're gonna have to zip this place up, but I wanted to show you how it looks at night with all these candles and everything lit. Check this out. Is that awesome or what? So here's the cozy Halloween bedroom here. Check that out. I especially love how these candles look in the dark. Very spooky. And then here's how it looks from back here. Looks kind of blurry to me on the screen. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up here for tonight. In the morning, she's making us breakfast. <laughs> okay, next morning bright and early. It's about 6.30 right now. Little lady is over there in the bed. And I'm about to clean up this mess over here so we can make some coffee. 
So we were gonna make some hash and eggs this morning, but we forgot to bring like forks. <laughs> so thank God we picked these up on our way over here. Apple cider cake donuts. And we have some pumpkin fritters. These will be very interesting. I think these are either gonna be delicious or horribly disgusting. So it's still pretty dark out here right now. Like if I turn this way, I basically disappear into the background. But we got these headlight lamps and these things work pretty dang good. Like while we were outside last night, just clearing some stuff up and I wanted to come out here and get something from the car. See, if I turn off the headlight lamp, it's still not too bad because it's brightening up out here a little bit. Plus, we have that lamp in the distance there. But with the light on this thing, you can see really good. Especially over here. I was, like, considering taking a spooky nighttime walk in these woods until I came to my senses. <laughs> Especially when I saw the Do Not Enter sign. <laughs> But this is actually one of my favorite parts about camping. Just coming outside while it's dark at night and when it's just starting to get light in the morning. Because look how awesome that looks. The sky is really lit up now, but last night you could see so many stars out here. And we never did light a uh, fire out in front here. But usually, even in the morning, there's just a little bit of embers left, just smoldering with a little stream of smoke going up. Just enough where if you mess with it a little bit and put a new log on, it'll spark up again. Look at that. Look at that shot right there. Man, how cool is it camping at the lakeside? Good morning, Tootie Fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Look at this. Look how awesome this looks looking over the lake here yeah. and you can see where the lights have gone off on the RVs across there so you really can't even see them anymore just a little bit of light that is so cool I always love seeing lights reflect on the water the latrine we need to get a sign to put on the front that says the latrine yeah. <laughs> look at these tiny little pots and pans that we have here who in the heck are we cooking for, man? Certainly not me. Put that on top of your propane, fold these out, and then you set these tiny little pans <laughs> on top of there to cook whatever you're making. That's crazy. Where did you get those, Amazon? Mm -hmm. Of course. And that came with it too? Yep. Look, it's little forks and spoons. Is there only one of each? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> So we're not sure if we actually brewed this coffee long enough or not because there's really no percolator on top of there to let us know when it's done. It's pretty hot. It's actually good? Mm -hmm. And it didn't burn your gullet? Mm -hmm, it did. <laughs> Alright. Donut for you. Thank you. Mm, those do smell pretty good. Pumpkin fritter for me. Ooh, they're... I wish they were more like dry glazed, kind of sticky. Smells pretty good though. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it really tastes like pumpkin, but it's pretty good. It's sticky though. How's yours? Mine was delicious. Good. <laughs> All right, well, we have had an awesome Halloween camping experience. This place is an absolute disaster right now. We have got so much to clean up before we get out of here. And it is going to be a chore trying to keep these rugs clean. But it is time to start packing up all this stuff and head home and get this video edited for you guys. I can't wait to see how it turns out. This was a fun camping trip. Did you have a good time? I did. I yeah. really did. I'm really surprised she wanted to go camping with me. <laughs> make sure you stay tuned, though. I'm going to make one more video before we take off and just kind of talk about all of our camping gear that we used on this specific trip. I might actually make that a habit with these camping trips because there's a lot of gear that you use and a lot of things that even I haven't thought of, and I've been camping my entire life. 